This video on introducing Rejet Wireless Intelligent Service is presented by Rejet Tech. We will have an overview of Rejet Wiz and demonstrate its key functions and value points. Wiz is short for Wireless Intelligent Service. It's a cloud-based solution designed to simplify and optimize the wireless project delivery. From site-wide planning to project implementation, then the user acceptance test, and finally operation and maintenance. Wiz uses unique component to support every stage of a wireless project. Combining all these components, Wiz will actually make the wireless network intelligent. Let's have a look at the three main components of Wiz. Cloud Site Survey Planner, Wi-Fi Mahu, and WizPy. Site Survey Planner is a free cloud-based tool to help engineers to design the AP placement, create coverage emails, and generate professional site survey reports. Wi-Fi Mahu is a toolkit designed for user acceptance test. It contains all kinds of common Wi-Fi test tools you can find in the market, like Wi-Fi Analyzer, Sweet Test, SSID Test, Rooming Test, Ping, Telnet, and so on. In a word, it's an all-in-one Wi-Fi test toolkit. And the last and the most important component we are talking about today is WizPy. As the brand of the system, it can scan and analyze the wireless environment and then provide the best optimization solution for customers to get better user experience using its leading data mining and machine learning technology. WizPy has two principal functions, user experience visualization and wireless optimization. User experience visualization is a function that makes the abstract user experience visible and lets customers actually realize the quality of their wireless networks. WizPy evaluates the wireless environment from the following six dimensions Equipment stability, STA access stability, signal coverage, user experience, network saturation, and client activation. The equipment stability represents the device status. As Wiz provides 24 7 network monitoring, all the device status trends will be recorded on it. If an AP goes offline, Wiz will present the very detailed device information for customers, including AP name, MAC address, AP model, offline time, and offline duration, so that the network manager could find out the potential risks in the network. The station access stability means whether the stations can go online and offline normally. If stations are denied from accessing the network or disconnected from it for some reasons, the station access stability will be affected. The signal coverage is evaluated based on the AP's received signal strength indication. If an AP is associated with a high percentage of low RSSI stations, it will be considered as an AP with signal coverage risks. WizPy will list down all the insufficient coverage locations so that the customers could realize the coverage problems in the network. The user experience measurement is the fundamental core of WizPy. WizPy employs machine learning algorithms to evaluate the user experience based on variety indications and parameters in the communication process of each end device accessing the wireless network. The parameters used to evaluate the user experience include signal strength, delay, packet loss, traffic, channel usage, and so on. WizPy will classify the user experience as good, average, fair, poor, and inactive based on its algorithm. The leading big data and data mining technology is the key to the accurate evaluation. As we can see in this page, all a station's network-related information will be collected and recorded on Wiz, including station's markages, RSSI, speed rate, delay, packet loss rate, traffic and so on. Even more, all this information could be presented based on timeline, which means you can know any station's network status in any moment. By analyzing all this massive information, WizPy could actually understand your network 
and optimize it accordingly. The network saturation helps the customer intuitively learn about current distribution of each area, while network capacity utilization and find out busy areas at each time slot and the channel usage of each area, thereby providing basis for network deployment and optimization. And the last dimension to evaluate a wireless network is the client activation. It displays the client stability and the retention rate. It could be helpful for customers to realize the client's dependency on the networks. For only above six dimensions, WISPI will evaluate the wireless networks in a comprehensive and objective way and finally visualize the actual user experience for customers. The next function we are going to talk about is wireless optimization. Its optimization methods divide into three parts, radio resource management, sticky rooming stirring, and the remote association stirring. With the automatic channel planning capability, WISPI calculates the level of mutual interference between all devices by scanning the APs in the whole network as well as private Wi-Fi to come up with the channel planning with the least interference. Similarly, WISPI's power planning feature calculates the best recommended power value by scanning the density of APs in the network and collecting real-time data of the current load status. Using WIS Big Data Analysis Platform, WISPI can analyze the access behavior of all devices. After intelligent identification of a device with sticky rooming, WISPI will guide the terminal to room to the best available AP for the best experience. Through the network AP detection behavior, WISPI analyzes the APs for remote association situations around the clock and automatically adjust if the radio frequency signal is too high or too low in the coverage area. The experimental and the customer data reflect that the overall performance of the wireless networks will be improved by 20 to 50 percent after optimization. In conclusion, WISPI is a very powerful operation and maintenance platform, and it's totally free for all customers as long as you have a rich access controller. If you are interested in WIS, welcome to visit wis.readynetworks.com and create your first WIS project. Thank you for your time. We will see you in the next video. Bye.